Sweet. Was that not fun? That's kind of like adrenaline for the soul right there, isn't it? I mean, you watch that stuff, and there's something inside of you. Even if you'd like, how many of you are like, I would never do any of those things? How many? Of you? <laughs> okay. <laughs> but even those of you who would never do that, isn't it fun to watch somebody else do it? Yeah. Okay. So, man, there's something. That's why we wanted to show that, because when we see these things, it just brings up something inside of us, this thrill for adventure. And I just want to so invite you right now to base camp. Thank you, my honey. <laughs> No, I, I do because, again, we've been living with this for months, but when you go to a base camp, all you know is right on the verge, as soon as I step out of this thing, I am going to go on the adventure of my life. And here's one thing I know. I know every single one of you want to go on an adventure. I know that about you. And many of you don't want to do that type of adventure, but you want adventures are all around us. There are relational adventures, are there not? And we want those, and so we pursue love, and we pursue falling in love, and we hate falling in love, and, and then we love falling in love, and we want to get married, and then you have kids, and then the adventure really begins. <laughs> you know, it's just, it is, it's this crazy thing, it's an exciting activity. Here's, an, here's a definition that calls for enthusiasm, and I love this, and a readiness to undertake new ventures. That's what an adventure is. And the reason that we like adventures is because once you taste something, you realize, oh my gosh, maybe this is what will give me life. And all you do as a human being is try to pursue what it is that would give you life. So some of you go on adventures with food, don't you? Come on, I do. I mean, food is awesome. There's always something new to discover with food. Or maybe it's art and music for all of you creative people. Once you've seen something, you want to go to the adventure and discover more of what's out there. For some of you, it's your intellect. You love to study things. You love to discover things. And your adventure actually goes on inside your mind. And then, once we maybe try our own adventures and they're not thrilling enough, what do we do? No? <laughs> no, move on. <laughs> no. I don't know about you, but we go to movies, don't we? Because if you go to a movie or if you read a novel, you do what we just did. We live somebody else's adventure. And the craziest thing is we feel it. And we like it. So then we do this crazy thing that human beings do. We actually fantasize. And we start to dream. Because what's crazy is everything you go after, there's one thing that I know that's true about whatever pursuit or whatever adventure you've been on. It may be satisfied you in one area, but I know it did it only partially. And so all of us in this room, if we're really honest, there's not one person in this room who's fully satisfied. Anybody in here fully satisfied? We're not. And we never will be on this planet. So what's interesting, because we're not fully satisfied, we pursue something and then we start to dream and we go, I know I have this, but it could be this. <laughs> And we start to fantasize and we go, I know this is relationship is good, but man, if it could be really good. Isn't this crazy, you guys? There's something about us as human beings that nothing is ever enough. Nothing is ever enough. I love to travel. Anybody else love to travel? I remember the first time I went to Europe, I went to France. And I'm telling you, after I went to France, all, I mean, and it was awesome. You don't go to France and see Paris and go around the, the countryside and go, ah, oh, that was good. I don't need any more of that. No, man. When you see that, now you're like, okay, now I got to go to Italy, and I got to go to Germany, and I got to go to Spain, I got to go to England. You know what I'm saying? See, we do this with every single thing. You guys work, and when you work, what do you want? You want a promotion, don't you? And you don't want a promotion necessarily so you can have more work, but you want a promotion so you have more prestige, so that you have more responsibility, more influence maybe, or more... Yeah, okay, the real reason. All right. So you want more money. See, no matter what your job is, you can feel like, I think there's more. I love my job. All I can think about is what else could be. And then you get money, and that's never enough. And then you, you have possessions, and those aren't good enough. You, you buy something, you're like, oh, man, I'll never need anything more until the new model comes out. Then you got to have it. We cannot be satisfied. And so, and here's what's crazy about human beings. The more you have the more you why why do you know why do you guys have any idea 
how big your appetite really is. Got a good job, live in a beautiful place, love my wife, have great kids, everything I do. It, it's never enough. You guys, your appetite is so big because it's trying to point you to something that's greater than anything that this world has to offer. That's why we're human. It shows us that we're created for something more. And all creation does is say there's something else beyond this created world. There actually is a source. There's a giver of everything that we see. And so this adventure, you guys, that we're going to go on, this base camp, what we're trying to prepare you for is the fact that we can, we really believe, and this is what Jesus Christ wanted us to know, you can actually engage with the thing that is beyond all that you're longing for. There is a creator of all of this. There is a provider. There is someone who actually put the desire within you. And this one is more beautiful than anything you've ever seen. He is more powerful, more creative. He's more complex. He's larger and he's more intimate than anything. And he actually invites you to go beyond the physical stuff into an actual relationship and experience with him. And that's the adventure. You guys ready? All right. Welcome to the adventure.